You see? That's the good countdown. That's a producer. So here we are. Here we are today in a day in Miami once again. And today, this is a long-awaited guest. Yes, that's not true. Long-awaited guest. The guy has not wanted to come to our uh, podcast. He's never been on a media But here, here's the thing. Just because now he's in the news and because he's plastered everywhere, he decides now to come to us. But we accepted it. We accepted it. Plus, we're already drinking you know, the the, the, the seal the of approval. Oh so welcome to Cheers. Jose Antonio Thank Perez Herguera, <laughs> our managing director you make from my mom, my mom happy with that. the Plaza. So let's a little applause there for, for Jose Antonio. I'm flattered to be here finally. You know, the only reason is that since yesterday we hit the news <laughs> on the Apple deal. Now it turns out that they invited me the following day. Oh, what a coincidence! Oh, okay. We invited you a couple of times, but I don't know. Years, but I think yeah. that's I think that's Ben's fault. Yeah. He's happy for a reason. No, ben somebody is, somebody has ben to is take a the sweetheart. Uh, but well, I, I don't blame you. Well, listen, he's he's a tough <laughs> Polish guy. Um, so welcome, welcome, Thank Jose. You. Thank you guys. For welcome, and and finally. and you know. I, Eddie has a slew of questions. And you're a very interesting person. Um, he has a slew right, of right, questions. Of course heart. not. Of course not. He's right a professional. Here. He's a professional. The thing is, I have my teleprompter right there. But he I has, have a bad memory, so I want to make sure we... These but he are has our questions that the public... Hit the, mail, hit the mail. But these are our questions that a day in Miami people have actually asked. Correct. You know, Correct. So, because we're already start, you know, asking people that we're going to have the guest on and stuff I, like that. On, that was just yesterday. No, no, no. no but on, listen, hey, listen, you. people respond I'll quickly. Play the game. I'll people play the game. know. People I'll, know. I'm going well, to play but, the game. But listen, before we start, I for those that are not aware or, or familiar, and if you're not, well, you know, but the plaza is this spectacular building that has been built right here on Ponce de Leon. And, um, uh, you know, it's a project that started a couple of years ago. And I really want everybody to know, you know, the vision behind it. I mean, you know, the fact is we're going to get into everything because we're going into the tequila and everything else. But I want people to know the family behind it. I want people to know what was the vision that you guys had and the fact of how this building and, and Eddie can elaborate on this. Also, we just got another article yesterday from Bloomberg yep. talking about Coral Gables. Is being the new Beverly Hills, the new Beverly Hills, you know what I'm saying, and 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 yeah, shout out, stores, right? Right. and <laughs> and yeah, and and shout out to Coral Gables and 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 you know how it's gotten there. You yeah. know, shout out to our mayor that he's done such a fabulous yeah, job amazing. to get it to amazing. to to where it's gotten. The real mayor, Manny. You know what I'm saying, <laughs> but at the same time, I Might think that I think it's really the plaza has really put the Gables in another level. 100%. So, you know, for, for the people that don't understand, you know, what's what was behind the plaza? How did it come about? And what's the vision for, for so that? This is very interesting, interesting I'm going to keep question. on drinking tequila, by the way. Go ahead. Earlier you talked that we actually, we started uh, the when we come from the Beckman family, the owners of Jose Cuero in Mexico. And in 2009, I moved to Miami to open the real estate division in the family office of Mr. Juan Beckman, our chairman of the board. So we started with 396 Alhambra and Alhambra Region, where we landed now FIFA, the FIFA headquarters for the 26 World Cup. Another big, huge another news. success yeah. for that. But uh, so we were building that, and we came across this opportunity to divide these seven acres of land, and we were like the new kids in town. They wanted to get us involved with banks and everything, so we just stay away from that. But the next day, year, they came back with the bank because they foreclosed on the property, so we got a, we had to close in 15 days. Wow. So I remember those calls back then with Mr. Beckham. I said, Mr. Beckham, we, we don't have time. What do you think? Jose Antonio, you like the site? I like it, but I'm new. You know? I'm, I haven't been yeah. here. I don't know. Right. But um, but he told me, okay, just do the deal, quick diligence. Mr. Beckham, we have 14 days. I said, okay, if you want to, if you think it's the right place, let's buy it. And so we, we closed in 14 days. After that, we was like three three different acquisitions. So the main one was seven acres, and then was a couple of other ones. Right. To, the six acres then to compound the seven acres. So after that, it was the long journey, four years of entitlements, because as you said, it's the, the biggest project in the history of the city. And we it was really, we got a lot. No, we, we, we also gave a lot on entitlements and everything, but you have seen the project have bridges and encroachments, right of way. Yeah. It's, 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 All the fact that the ticket But among that, that uh, always the, the philosopher, Mr. Bagman, because he's, I mean, he's an accountant by trade, of course, very successful in the, in the liquor business. But his passion has always been architecture. So thanks to him and to his to his will to do things on the long term. Right. He has always told us, no, I mean, build something. Don't, I mean, of course, don't, don't waste the money, but build, build in the sense of something that is you know, quality. Don't focus on the cost, focus on the quality because that will pay you back. That is. So as you've seen it, no, yeah. we, we brought stone detail. from Egypt, from Mexico, from Israel, 
Uh, so it's a very high end project. Of course, it's not to flip it because I will take you years, no? But so, I've been so lucky so far that there's the mixed use component, as you all know, is hotel. Um, the office, half a million square feet, the, re the retail is 160,000. And the uh, rental apartments, and we are almost 100% lease. So, so here, here we go again in the sense of for those folks that are, are watching, you know, there's a Lowe's hotel. There is spectacular restaurants. They're opening up. How many restaurants are we going to have in, 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 in total? Total 11. We're supposed 11 to restaurants. It's 11, but I think we shorted that it was too much. We have a great variety of restaurants, uh, food, food, beverage, and entertainment. As you know, the Pinstripes is the leading, uh, I mean, the anchor tenant, which is that yeah. all in Bachi, which is 32,000 square feet. They're going to open in the summer. And then we landed most of the concepts are new to, to Miami. When, of course, we have Ceviche 105 that has been a great success. Yes. But most of them, I mean, they're going to open a sushi restaurant from Brazil, the best operator in Brazil. Su. Sushi Su. Yeah. They're going to open and this restaurant from Michael White. Uh, we still we, we cannot release, release the name, but it's Michael White. is a former chef, chef of Marea. I know that the Marea. That's a huge, huge restaurant amazing. in New York. <laughs> yeah. We have one, of course, the Americana, the hotel that has been a great success. The bar is amazing. Then we're going to have a Mexican, Cantina Leon. Then we have some... Cafeterias like Sweet Paris, where the, the, the crepe place is not a cafe, but also we are going to have Joe in the Juice sandwich. Yeah. You know, that our yeah. friend Daniel is a great So, so this, this, this is going to be like a city within a city. 100%. You're going to be, you're, you, the great thing about this is, and I don't want to mention other places in the Gables, but the great thing for me that the Plaza has is that the variety of restaurants it's going to have, because other places have like three, four, and that, you know, people them. go to the places yeah. and just say you have that. But to have 11 restaurants, places to, you know, Cantina Leon, saying, we, and you have every level. You have and the fact the chow, of, and we already had and the four four chow, open almost course, two years ago. Course, it has been a great course. success. They have half of the size of the one in Orlando that is the highest sales. Yeah. And half of the size, and they have double the sales in Colorado. Oh, so wow. Listen, I passed by there on Sundays, and there's a, and there's a line. Yeah. There's so a line, line out there. But it's so a great service place. It's a great service place. It's for corporate. They have the seats. the corner. They did it. And this, as you guys know, that was the new flagship for what they're doing worldwide now. It's a... Much you, more high end. Do you know that when we walk into Fogo de Chao with Eddie, you know they have great prices. The house is going to lose. No, but the thing <laughs> is, that as soon as they walk lose. in and they, see, and they see Eddie, the house says, <laughs> oh, oh, "Man, we're going to lose." Yeah, can we we need when to sell you know, some The guy that pass by every five minutes with a can, I'm done right now. Eddie comes up. No, I'll take that. I'll take that one out there, yeah. bro. You know the forty nine ninety nine already. Uh, you know, this, copped out. Now I know why he goes to the restroom so often. <laughs> yeah. I understand. This brain takes a lot of power, man. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I don't judge. <laughs> All right, so um, I have some questions. At the same time, uh, you guys built this beautiful project, which is a, has extreme attention to detail, which is not normally the way someone goes about a development like that. You know, mm -hmm. just for purposes of cost, typically. But you all, you say that, that Mr. Beckman um, was a, an accountant by trade and had a love for architecture, but you also have a love for art. You have a lot of art on the property. Yep. Tell me a little bit about the plaza art and where it kind of originated from and why it sure. is that you guys that's selected it. those actual like artists. Uh -huh. Well, that's interesting. Again, going back to Mr. Beckman, he always liked art and mainly Latin American art. And so he... In Mexico, they have a huge collection, a big collection on five within the father. He has a museum itself, beautiful, that you want to you have to go, but you don't want to go, but I'll take you one day. I have an open <laughs> ticket, by the way. Uh, Let me not start on that one. Which expires tomorrow. No? Now uh, that I, gotta, gotta I have, an open, it, I have an open ticket out of Mexico, by the way. <laughs> now I have to take you, you see? Yeah, yes. well, you got it. That's the way it works. But anyway, so so as you guys know, in Coral Gables, uh, as part of the, the yeah. payment process, for every project you do over, I think it's over a million dollars, you have to spend 1% of the cost of the project in art in public spaces, which means basically murals, sculptures, because, I mean, there's nothing inside. It's going to be 24-7 accessible. So we committed uh, and we created a committee and we spoke with several galleries, uh, Mayor Lago. Even before he was a mayor, he was still a commissioner. He helped us to, to gather a lot of galleries. Because what we want to bring, the, the target that we had, uh, the vision is that to bring glass art World class art to Florida that it was not existing existing yet. So that's what we did. We searched away. Thanks to the time on the, the on the construction, it was four years, so we had time to to look for those pieces. Yeah. And we were specific. I was specific in one. You know the cost. I know was, which one. That was yeah. hard to get. But anyway, so so what we did is that we went again. So we toured a lot of uh, museums. We went to France, and and that's the first one we kind of always was the Tony Crack. Yeah. That I saw that that's... piece in New York because it was exposed, which like I didn't know about by the way until I yeah. saw it here. No, this gentleman is from from London, 
in his 90s. I mean, see, I met him one time. But anyway, I saw that piece with Mr. Bergman in a, uh, it was in a temporary exhibition on Park Avenue, like probably 10, 15 years ago, 10 maybe. Wow. And we saw them, it was like four or five online, and that one was a, a piece of the other. The one. There's still have too many, but that was amazing. So get along with someone, with Bill Bradley, you know, mm -hmm. in business, you know, it's a super nice guy. Yep. So he got along through the galleries, and we managed to get the Tony Crack. There's Mean Average, which is the, the bronze one that is spectacular. Which is the first one that opened. That was the first one we put. Yeah. It actually, it was in storage for a year, because we had it. And it was you guys already had it. it. We yeah. had it for a year. Actually, we were going to put it in SBS, but it was, it was too heavy. It's like six tons. But anyway. So then we got the, um, I, we got in touch with Jan Michel, Jan Michel mm -hmm. that is a, it's a French artist that you guys know, he's really famous. Uh, he has permanent exhibitions at, Louvre, mm -hmm. at the Louvre Museum. He is the, the only artist in the world that has been able to do a sculpture, which is a big fountain on the Versailles Palace. That's what I was going to. I saw it now when I went to that trip. It was spectacular. And, and we, I, when I went and saw that, I said, we have to get this guy, you know, and, and super nice. You met him in this. Yes, he came yep, to yep. build a, a super amazing person. So we end up doing that fountain. The coral, coral fountain, he was inspiring on also those little Murano balls in yes, Miami yeah. in the coral is amazing. So then after that, we got along also, we want a local artist to be participate also, not only foreign foreign artists. So we got um, Michelle Ocadone. You guys know the one that did all the terrazzos at the yes. airport. Yeah. Amazing lady. And she did the monumental bench that we have there. With, with and the, the tree. The, the beautiful tree yeah. that you get. Which I see. The tree, actually. You were the one that... With, with, Getting see, that free. Get a little, look, I get I a little bit of credit. Word, but I cannot say bad words, right? A little no. credit. A little yes, credit. A little credit. But uh, all of that tree, a lot of people, and everybody loves to have lunch. Out of, have lunch out of the best art, out of all the art, that's probably the most useful one. No, it is amazing. And, and, and we, it has been already seated like probably two years. And yeah. when we brought it with, with Manny and Oli from Superior Landscape. They brought it from Beto or Denia Beach, somewhere around there. It was pretty four times what it is now. So it's going to, it's going to get there. That's what you see. If you see that ring, it's so big because yeah. that thing is going to be covering probably, I don't know, 40, 50 feet. It's amazing. Wow. So after that, I was still, because we were on, <laughs> by then we were a little bit over budget on the 1% we yeah. have to commit to the city. But I was very stubborn. And also Mr. Beckman, because he, like, he likes the cost. And also Doris Beckman, she she loved that piece. So so we went, the artist itself. Yeah. So we keep, I, for two years, I was insisting until I get to the right person, Jonathan Tish, you know, our, our partner with Lowe's. And the next day, I was in a, in a Zoom call with hey, we were Brian O'Donnell, which is cause no the artist. So we he started doing some sketches and he ended up doing this this sculpture that we just installed like four, four or five months ago, no? But it's yeah. been two years. The cause that is called or less. I, I think, think it was more. A little bit more. Six months, maybe. Probably, Probably six, six months, months, yeah. Yeah, I think it was October, you're right. So that sculpture that's that we were over budget, but I spoke with Mr. Beckman, he says in Doris back then he says guys uh, recommended they, they love the piece so we did the commitment and we bought the piece it took two years and after that we were already over budget and then uh, mr beckman he was a very close friend of leonora carrington she was yep. she was born in the uk living a very interesting life because she she spent it was through the first and the second world war she, she ended up in mexico oh she's a i mean she passed away some years ago but she was a super famous art i mean the, the, the pieces of art the, the, the paintings she, they sell for millions and in tequila, he, he he some years ago, Mr. Beckman, I guess again they have a great relationship. They did a special edition of the eighteen hundred bottle for the the god of the tequila and the godness of the tequila. One of my favorites too. Yeah. You know, amazing. And after that, they put I mean, Mr. Beckman put in, the, in this 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 hacienda in Mexico the, the tequila, those sculptures of the god and the godness, but they're like probably eighteen, nineteen feet tall. It's monstrous, beautiful. Damn. So we asked him if he can do a replica on a smaller size uh, into the earth of of. Leonora Carrington. Yeah. And we spent another money. That that's the one is in front of the... I, I, of, I, I, I know. Pinch pinch beautiful. Yeah. Pinch pinch pinch. So, yeah, at the end of the day, I think the commitment to the city was $6 million. In, I mean, as, as to per the development agreement, and we end up spending close to eight or and, and a half. So, going back to... Worth the, it. We have world-class art. When the cause was put up, and the, it was put up on social media, there was a lot of mixed reviews as to... Yeah. How many people liked it? A lot of like residents. Some people even came out and said it was an eyesore. No, some people said it was related to Walt Disney and Mickey Mouse. <laughs> I don't want to tell names, but I get even calls from commissioners that had complaints of the neighbors because that was that back then, that debate in between Disney and uh, the politicians yeah. and the governor. So, guys, what are you guys are talking about? That's why we're trying to educate people and make cultural things and art visible to Florida. Yeah. This is one of the world renounces art. We took 
two years to build a sculpture. He only builds two of them every six years. Wow. And these guys, they thought he was Walt Disney Mickey. <laughs> because, well, <laughs> but, listen, but that's, the, but you know, that's, that's, that's part of what we want to do. Yeah. I mean, it's, I'm you're, not talking anybody, not criticizing, but it's no, part of I what mean, we want to do. Listen, we, there's, uh, because there's one in New York. There's one in New York, and you know why? Because the other one was at the center of the, Rock- right. the, the Rockefeller Center. So, at the, at which, is the one that, which is the one that we visited when we were in Madrid? That's in the Four the, Seasons. Uh, the Four Seasons. The Four Seasons. That's one in school. I forgot the name. is. Beautiful, by Waiting, the way. Waiting, no, watching. Yeah. Right. But that was not as big as this one. No, no. That one is inside the lobby. That, that one is, the one in Madrid is yeah. probably eight feet. Eight feet. But this was his, this one beautiful is 18, well. 18 feet because yeah. the platen is close yeah. to 20 feet. I mean, it's beautiful. I just feel like it's something that the people that even are into or not into art, it's something that you, it's worth it's worth seeing. 100%. It's worth seeing. And it's that impressive. Was, no, but you're right. And that was that was the other thing. I mean, Coral Gables has been known for years as the old city. Where for many years it was. Right. Yeah. yeah, you're right. You're so right. what you want to bring also is the boss of the young people to a Absolutely. House. I mean, all the sculptures. I mean, mainly the Coast and the Tony Crack. Well, now Julian Michel of Anils also for sure. And this, this, this is a picture spot. Every day, there's a lot of people, even to the point that we need to put those, those plants that we're going to remove. And then we're yes. Because this is that boss, and, and this to create that sense of modern night and uh, cultural thing that brings new young generations. You were just saying about that article yesterday, you know, in Bloomberg, about Bloomberg, yeah. calling it yeah. becoming the new Beverly Hills. It's not going to be the Beverly Hills. I mean, wait, for, Bloomberg to be, that, for Bloomberg to be reporting, yeah. I mean, it's not like, you know, ever, you know Bloomberg is is, is no, it's legit. When you, yeah, and you see it around the city, like with the project that you guys are doing, with Miracle Mile coming back, with all these new restaurants opening up, a lot of small businesses coming back. The city is buzzing, you know, it's spending and lots the, and millions of dollars in those restaurants. And I mean, the one we're going to go today. I mean, yeah, I mean, they, this, they're putting the this, best. That's why I keep on saying, I mean, with 11 restaurants at the plaza, with the restaurants and the gables, there's really, you know, remember we had, we had, um, who did we have the other day that we were talking about the restaurant situation and then we we're talking yeah, about, yeah, no, but we we're talking about downtown mm-hmm. and how they oh, want to try and revive with, uh, the, Alan Roth. with Alan Roth. and they wanted to go ahead and revive, you know, the, but it's funny because all you guys out there commented back to us saying, you know, why am I going to go to downtown? Yeah. You know, why am I going to go downtown? Because the, what I find so fascinating about the whole area of Miami is that, you know, you have areas that you can really rely on so many restaurants. You have the Kendall area with restaurants. Yeah, you have the Rowell area with restaurants. South Miami. South Miami. Well, South Miami, a little bit. It's falling yeah, down. Yeah, no, 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 no. We're, we're going to get into We're, we're going we're gonna to get into another we podcast gotta, about gotta, South gotta Miami. Get, get I live in South Miami. Those residents live in the area. No, we got to get, get, South 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 get the Agave group out there. I'm not happy with the South Miami situation. But anyway. in Gorey Gables. It's becoming a destination. now. But that's what I'm trying to tell you. We have Michelin star restaurants already, too. I mean, I tried to do the other one for Shingo. With you guys, it's three months to get it uh, yeah. shingle listen every time we every time i'm, I'm I, I i talk to the management over there at Lowe's, we're booked yeah we're booked we're booked but you know what i think i love about the city the most it is miami so itself is a big big city and coral gibbles <laughs> gives us the small town feel we exactly. go out to the streets we walk around people see us the waiters it's, know it's you very, so it feels yeah, like very like that's tight-knit that's community that's right. Right. i mean try try to get game. from here from you guys from your office to Hillstones that is four blocks no, no, away. We, yeah. we walk. I work with money and we, and we stop probably 20 times, yeah. 18 because of him, of course. No, it's like, yeah, yeah, just let's get, we're going to lose the I'll be the scooter down Come the street on. and I'll get a That's text message from exactly. you guys. Hey, <laughs> what are you doing? You're not supposed to be riding that on the sidewalk. <laughs> yeah, get off. Yeah. But that's absolutely right. That the mayor's the first one to tell you, get off the scooter. I'm going to ticket you. <laughs> <laughs> but that, that's 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 I love really it. It's like we're family. But, but again, no, that's, like, but the the great thing about it is is that you have the, you have the sense of that's what the Gables is all about because you live, you work, and you dine here. You live playing. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that's it. Yeah, you know what's really a replica to the Gables is really for me is Brickle. But the thing with Brickle is that Brickle has always also now become a pain in the butt. Yeah, you know, and it's great, but it's huge. Even I mean, unless you live there, you yeah. Work but that's there, what I'm saying. Great. Listen, I worked in Brickle. I worked Amazing. years ago. In no, and imagine that those elevators going up 15, it, 24. It, you got to wait. Imagine you're getting out to go to work. You got to wait by elevator. It's crazy. No, it's, it's crazy. I mean, our desperation. At least the three here. You know me. I'm I'm I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit. You Even know, on the third floor, I take inter- the stairs because yeah. I think it's take too long. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm always on the go, so it's like open the door and I just walk. Yeah. You know, where am I going? I'm going across the street for lunch. I'm going here. Yeah. If I have to be waiting for that elevator, it's, 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 it's tough. It's your patient. You know, it's an impatient, like, situation. It's an impatient situation. So what, what else questions? More with Manny. All right, so I have another one here. Wait, because Eddie has a so slew. This is, I mean, I can I can because I see like 25 no, no, we'll, questions we'll, we'll, here. We'll get to them. No worries. I have all the time. How is it? So we have a lot of businesses that come, you know, through the agency. They want to open the gables. 
How has your experience been with working with the city of Coral Gables to build this beautiful project that you did? I it was it was a whole journey, but it's at the end. I mean, we respectful that that's the value of entry to develop in Coral Gables, which we like and we respect. Because again, uh, what I was telling you at the beginning, we first built 396 Alhambra in 2009, when it was already in the construction. Let's say we end up in 12. And um, that's a class A office building, as you guys know. And that was, so we opened in 2013, I think it was. So up to date, the last new class A development yeah. office building has been ours at the plaza. So it took 10 years because it's not easy to build in Coral Gables, as you know, the barriers of entry, and, then, and I mean, they, they've done an amazing job in, in preserving the city, the architectural yeah. uh, side. They give you this this architectural bonus if you build according to the to, to the well, Mediterranean side, which, is, which is really sort it. of what yeah. they have in Washington. Uh, remember, absolutely, what absolutely. we discussed with, um, when we got to the time, is the first ones, actually, as you guys know, no building can be above 190 feet, which is that, that that's the, the tower of the building, yeah. exactly. And even though we got a variance that it was voted on analysis by the whole board, I mean, when back then the the commission, I'm sorry, the the you have the zoning, the bayer, planning, and everybody up and the, the hotel, we, we yeah. managed to get a variance for it was 190, and we got another 20, so we can go out over to 210, I think it was or Correct. 15. The only condition was to do an, an, an accessible open place like a restaurant, a bar, and a terrace. And even though Mr. Our lovely mayor, he voted for us, then he asked me if it was Antonio. This is too much. Yeah. And when we reviewed, actually, what we got, it, it was a long process, four years of time, but again, oh. it was 150 public meetings. But we understand it was the biggest project in this history, and we have, gladly we have the time, we didn't have any leverage on the, on the land, so it was, it was built the right way again. Yeah. You know? But uh, after that, reflects on the project. see, and that, after that, we end up conceding, because, I mean, it was, the, the, it was too expensive, what we were trying to do was even bigger. But also the fact that we want to respect the rules of Coral Gables. Even though we got approved by the commission, we went back and preferred to go back to 190 feet, which I think was a great idea. We moved to the hotel. But again, going back to your question, the city uh, is not easy. But uh, they have a very, I mean, at least during the time that we built the project, uh, it was, I mean, it was not it was not easy. But, but I mean, that's the barrier of entry. And in some way, as a developer, you like that because we don't want that across the street they're going to be something very cheap. Well, of course, and you have a one-of-a-kind yeah. you know? one place. So it's you know tough, but, uh, but again, if, if, you are, if you are a developer or that you don't have too much time or you're leveraged and you leverage on the land, that's what they eat you because although you, you cannot spend two or three years. I mean, yeah, it was four years because it was huge, but anyway, you, in any single project, you can take one or two years. So yeah. we, we, it's, it's complicated, but we like to be... It, it went well, well. And, and, and let me jump to another question of mine before Eddie continues with the questions of, uh, of, of, of our people that are watching and listening. But one of my biggest thing is, is also what I like about the plaza and what I want to tell people is that open area. So we have an open area, which, by the yeah, way, in October, anchor, yeah, we, we... In, in, in October, for the ones that missed it, we had a spectacular thing which we called October Beer Fest. Yep. And we had it sponsored with Heineken. So it was great because you paid a, a fee and you came in. You had all the Heineken you want. We had October Beer Fest, and now we, you know, we can go ahead and say in this podcast that we're going to be doing the unofficial, by the way, F one viewing party at the Plaza, yep. which is going to be Sunday. The game, the game, which I think is, if I'm not Sunday mistaken, the fifth. fifth. Sunday the fifth, so, which happens to be Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo. So it's going to be party. a you guys have to party. Be there, all of you. It's going to be. You, you can come and watch F one party at F one. No, but it's going to be great because we're going to have the F one with Heineken yeah. again, and people can watch the, the races there. You're on a huge, huge screen. screen. Yeah. All the beer you want, and then after that, after the races are over, we're going to start with the Cinco de Mayo with tequila. Well, so, and that, no, that, that yeah. project in itself took some year to plan as well. Absolutely, too. absolutely. Oh, no, that little bar area. Yeah. Two years. No? Two, at two least two years. years. At least two just years. for that particular. Yeah. Yeah. And we just get a home. I have a whole, I, had, I call them, I'm so sorry, with Bacari. So they're going to lend us also a Formula One car to be exposed. The hotel is doing an activation. So, so it's like, going to be amazing. Right. It's going to be it's To that point fun. that you just have Bacardi, those are tenants. At the, those at, are our tenants. Like those you. are tenants. And then I know one of the questions that Eddie has is, which is one? Tell him. What is, what's the biggest news how right now from yesterday? How many liquor companies we have? Or go to the, no, no. Uh, the, so the only reason companies? that I was invited in a short notice. Yeah. No, no. I have, that one here. I have to cast it like 20 screw minutes. Screw that one. Let's um, go with the liquor. You know what? My, my schedule was empty, but, you but know I what? pretend let, that I was busy. Let's I mention have something. No. Because I think everybody, our, 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 our people like this. And our people are tequila drinkers. You know, tequila now is like... The tequila now is the new... The new, I don't know, what, what do you it's compare? A, the, new a, vodka, the new vodka? I'd say. The new vodka. Everybody usually works whiskey. No, but it is. In, in not according, I mean, I can be self 
pretentious to, to speak about Cuervo, but I mean, that we hear, we have a tenants also in this building. We have Viaggio is moving, we have Correct. Bugatti, we have Heineken. And the other day, you were there with Howard Wynn, with, yeah. uh, speaking about the trend, according to Diageo, which is the biggest liquor company in the world, the trend is that tequila is already, and in five years from now, is going to be the main category over vodka, over rum, over everything. Oh, but that'd be interesting for every, our viewers to comment on that. How many of you guys like tequila now? Well, that and the tequila seltzers. And the tequila seltzers. I tried them the other up. day. I, I normally don't drink those things. I try one. Oh. You like the, I loved it. It, it was, was a margarita. taste tastes great. I mean, they take you out. And it's very know, light. It's light, it's light, light carbs. It's, it's like, and no, light carbs. Or light carbs, you know, you can, like, if you don't want to drink too but much. But you know what the problem with that is? Those seltzers go down like water <laughs> well that no I you don't fear, have to drink that many because they well, have sugar my fear is yeah. that those cells don't have sugar yeah that one yeah. does well, no, the one i had there was a margarita but the fear is that mm. you're not supposed to drink that many because it's like correct anything. but here's my problem they right. taste so good that you the teenagers yeah. the teenagers right. and the kids see, see, at that, parties are concern. now drinking seltzers well but but think about it do you prefer okay so you know we have teen kids we <laughs> all three of yeah. us have teen kids do I pre I prefer my daughter that to have a seltzer than the liquor than the, the 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 vodka with the other one. Pero la cosa es esto: if they drink the vodka, ugh, tastes bad. Put it down. The right. seltzer, boom, boom, right. boom. No, but know. I, but I, I agree with you, money. But you know? it's, it's it's like and I it's, seen it. It's not ideal. I mean, ideally, you wish that our kids would not drink until they have at least. 20, no, I'm not talking 21. about our kids in particular. Right. No, yeah. any any other kids, kid. You know? yeah, actually, well, but listen, when I say teen, mine's seventeen. Yeah. See. You know what I'm saying? No, She's exactly. having a little but also the fact that stink. You yeah, no, no, have no, drink. See, you, they you, come out of the, uh, the, uh, the restaurant wobbly. I'm like, why do you, you guys you, go to the you, bathroom you're so right, much? You, you, know? you like, better have not drink. By the way, just in case you think <laughs> we got to you know, look. Plaza. Wait, wait, wait. Maestro Dobell. It's a plaza. This, it's a plaza this reserve collection. is brought to you by. It is. By the plaza Maestro Dobell. So we had to do another one with Celosa. Yes. We, we just received well, now the, the, today the furniture. Well, but there. again, that, that's, that's, another, that's another thing because we started so talking about that. There's the just so many tequilas in the family because a lot of people have asked me, well, what about Don Julio and Don Julio? So no, you used to be from Puebla, Don Julio. That's what I'm saying. Story, give, yeah. give, a little, give a two little minutes about that. Yep. Don Julio got sold. Don Julio was, I mean, it was, it was not part of the, family, of the Jose Cuero family. Right. So many, many years ago right. through friendships and friends with Mr. Vegan end up buying Don Julio. He didn't want to, but he was helping the family on the, on the, on the other side. And then he traded with the Ayo 50-50%. Uh, and up to, what was like six, seven years ago that, that, that Jose Cuero want to focus more on their own brands. Because, I mean, the Ayo is a monster. And, and yes. they were doing both yeah, together, but they, they want to focus on their brands. Yeah. So they end up trading Don Julio, have Don Julio for Bush because Cuervo has, I mean, is the strongest tequila company still in the world. They have like 36% of the market. They used to have 47 they still are the strongest one, but they want to grow in all the categories. I mean, the, yeah. you know, Juan Domingo that is running, Juan Domingo Beckman is running the company. He's been very smart to diversify into other big brands. And Mr. Beckman and, and, and Juan Domingo, they always like um, Bush Mills because that's the oldest distillery in the world in Ireland. Wow. And uh, no, it's it's only know, success. Yeah. Well, man, just what I'm telling you. It's when you're in that business. Just when you're you know, in that business. Exactly. And, and, um, so By the way, Ben, Ireland. Yeah, got to go, go take a go, trip. Go Manny to talk and ask about. Oh boy, one more the FIFA stuff. The FIFA, the like FIFA. he was very involved to a degree with yes, the bringing was. FIFA to Coral Gables. Yes. Oh, well, so, just I mean, a little he, sliver. He, he I don't get. He I didn't don't, get a commission of course. Yeah, no, 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 no. How did Listen, you guys get a marketing fee. FIFA to come to Coral no, Gables? I didn't. That was Jose Antonio. We just did a couple of uh, of calls. We just we just did calls, but you know what? I think it's great because. That shows you the level of how people do and conduct business. It was just one of those things that, you know, you're you're on the phone. Jose was negotiating with the FIFA people. Great gentleman at that time. I forgot what his name was. He's not Colin here Smith, an amazing guy. A, a the amazing CEO. guy. And then, an Irish guy from Bush, yeah. by the way. It was an between Jose, guy. Greg, and um, I think uh, the Blanca people Peter as Blanca well. And, and you know, I brought, nice. But it was just, a, you know, listen, everything in life is teamwork. And 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 they just they needed some little reassurance of stuff that we can do in the gables and stuff like that, but that's another huge thing that yeah, they're the bringing five hundred employees. No, Are you having, I think course? it's going to be even more because they and it was. I mean, uh, we always spoke about this, and we were recently thinking of yeah. thinking about this article that uh, it's all based in relationships. So, and of course, we were lucky because FIFA was looking. For the headquarters for the workers, as you guys yep. all know, it's going to be the three countries: no Canada, U.S., and Mexico. 
So it's the biggest one in the history. It's but this is the headquarters for the whole World Cup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is going to be the headquarters. This is going to be the, yeah. press, con the press conference worldwide. It's wow. amazing. So they already took, they took last year. Like VPs and presidents were going to be here. Well, no, Mr. Constantini, I mean, the, yeah. the CEO is already here. He moved the family. He's, well, he's traveling all around the world, of course. But uh, So they took the, the former space, space sorry, from HBO that we were lucky enough because HBO, as you guys know, was acquired by Discovery. They had to yes. move to Blue Lagoon. Yeah. So they did an early termination, we, which we're not very happy with. We got a good termination fee. And yeah. one month after, we signed the lease with FIFA. Wow. That was... Initially, it was last year through 26. We, yesterday, we just... Uh, that's why you call me again. Yesterday, we extended to 2028 <laughs> now. Amazing. So that's going to be the headquarters. And it's amazing. As you said, it's going to be more than 500 people. Yeah. They already yeah. have one well, of the hotel. This week has been already sold out. They book all the conference rooms. No, it's going to pick up the economy. Well, here. But, so but here, to the city. Here you go again. You have FIFA. Listen to this. You got FIFA headquarters in one of the Agave buildings because that's the one in Alhambra. 36 yeah. Alhambra. That, Alhambra. Which is another yeah. spectacular building for the ones that know, know. That's right there in Alhambra in front of the globe. And then now you have Apple and everybody else in the plaza. Yeah. And I heard rumors uh -oh. that Amazon... What? Wants to bring some like headquarters out here. We're trying, but but we need to build another building. That's the problem. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, you know. See, no, that's see? not seen. We also we should have approached Jeff when we saw I him. I told that you, day. I told you, you were shy to say hello. <laughs> Don. So Manny had he was a man with the attitude. Let's say hello, and he was shy, and I regret it. Well, it's not shy. I mean, the guy has ninety four bodyguards. Yeah. Yeah. There was nobody there. Well, there was like 94 bodyguards there. You know what I mean? I just we go like this. Hey, oh, yes, that's, that's okay. So, no, but wait, wait. He was staring at us. He was trying to say hello to Manny. He was looking <laughs> at my jacket, by the way. I, I even know. And I even called <laughs> Biz Lab, who was there, our mayor. Yeah. I said, Biz, come on. This is, this is, there was a few. This like, was this the moment. Like, hey, you're the freaking yeah. mayor. You have yeah. to say hello. Yeah. Oh, so Let yeah. me tell you. I don't want to interrupt. You go anymore. outside. Come you on. thought you were, the president was inside yeah. the, the restaurant. <laughs> One of the richest men in the world. I mean, there was like seven suburbans. Everybody yeah. went, you know, everybody outside. What the yeah, hell going you on? See his nanny. Well, you, you can see there, there was money behind them. I tried to take some selfies <laughs> on the <laughs> back. Delete the phone pic. But I didn't. No, we did it. No, we did it. But we did it. But anyway, we acted that properly. And we're still in some preliminary conversation from bringing in another big bill on the retail side that has to be, and it's, I'm sorry, it's going to be related to, to soccer. We cannot say yeah. any details, but this is something that you have to do, make it happen. All right, the so pink color. <laughs> this is a, a question. Uh -oh. You know, this is not live, so we don't have to post it later. Right. But... This, huh? is, I'm glad, this is where Ben no, I'm glad, cuts and edits. No, I'm, glad, I'm, glad, I'm glad Greg is not here. All right, so no. <laughs> this so, is not picky to the end. So talk to us a little bit. This is Every so often, yes. we get news articles about this sent to us. Do you mind straining out or telling us the full story? Because there's a lot of stories out there about the little man, they're the man, that ended up staying with the house. You have another bowl of tequila. You know? <laughs> so uh, we all know that this person decided not to sell the property. Right. Yeah. We hear many stories from different people on how it transpired. I would like for you to clear up the air no, and explain to the process. To, that, that's, that's, well, that's but it. before you say that, there's been a lot of stories that NPR, NBCs, NBC, CBS, everybody has done stories, but yeah. I don't feel that nobody has come to you Ever. guys to no, Eddie's point. No, no, like, no, we what, you know, everybody points out this, this like, it. you know, like the Plaza came and just like blocked this guy it in. Doesn't exist. No, and you know, it's very sad because they always use the, 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 the family, the. Yeah. Um, when there was any political campaign in Coral Gables, I mean, by any coincidence, the Herald came to interview Channel 7 because he was used by the opposite sure. of Mr. Blackwell. Of course. But, you know, I have, I'm glad to clarify that because it has been a story in Mr. Beckman. I was so concerned about that because, as you know, is is uh, the, when I was the son, there was the mother. She lived there. She passed away last, last year. She was 89 years old. Yeah. So it's not about just, I mean, taking them out of their house. It was a concern that this, this place, it took four years to build. I mean, we, you know, we were at the historic house that has these thick walls. And even where they were compacting seven, seven acres, we have 890 piles down there. Imagine this. I mean, the, the, the historic house was shaken. Imagine the poor yes. house of the ladies. Yeah. You know? And so yeah. we were concerned about that because really it was not about the, the, the retail space. Of course, there was a little obstruction on the parking, but it was not the end of the world. But since we bought the land, the previous developer, Ralph Sanchez and the Mass family, they bought another piece of land across the street on the residential side to build them a house. So we offered that. And we built a house. Actually, the house is still there. It's a beautiful I, I, I house. I've seen so. it. I, I wish house. I got that offer. So <laughs> you built a house across we the street and house, you offered it and to him we to offer, transfer. Yeah, and, and the concern was, I mean, the mom, 
She was, she, I think she wanted to move it. I mean, that's, that's not the important. But the important thing is that we did everything we could to accommodate him. Right. Because we knew at the end when we changed much more when we changed the sign that we ended up putting the, the port cushion in the front of the hotel. In front of his house, because it was supposed to be on Ponds, but it was it was it would be a mess with the traffic. So that the city mayor like, well, asked us to move the hotel, which was great because that was the way we can get along with the park. In, in, in correct, I mean the plaza no, the we flow, have. The I don't, I, and out yeah. of the seven acres that we have, the, 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 the plaza, our own park, is, is an acre that we basically. I mean, it's pro- private property, but it's open open public yeah, space. Right. But anyway, so we moved the the port cochet, and it's in front of his house. So so before we build it, we say this is really concerning because it's not going to be noise just in like an office retail day. It's going to be night nighttime. I'm the hotel when there's an event. It's, it's crazy, no? You're going to see it. But again, going back to Mr. Beckman, he was really concerned. So we we tried everything. We even asked him to if they want to move temporary to another house or another apartment, whatever they wanted. So they don't, so the, the the mom didn't have to go through the pain of the construction. So we tried as much as we we could. Right. We offered. But it was yeah, more than you fair. don't have to say. But, but I think it was yeah. at the end. It was a personal decision of of, of yeah. the family, which we respect. And doing construction, I mean, of course, it's, there was inconvenience, but we try to be respectful, and we still respect him. And we did what we have to do, you know. And so again, that was, for, that was the, 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 the way right. to help him. For, for, for a lot of people, that don't understand. You know what happened here was is that, you know, when this property was purchased, and and for the ones that understand this, prior to the plaza. The, the the people that owned it before had purchased all these properties around this this area. Uh, this gentleman with his family never wanted to sell. So, which happens in a lot of places. You know, people start buying property, buying property, giving you either fair value or giving you more things. And I'm the first one that I'm saying, you you take your stand for whatever you feel is right. So then basically, this gentleman said, I'm not moving. I'm staying here. Yeah. But then... When you look at the sense that you're the only one last standing there with everything, you know, seven acres and you're the only home there, you know now that the whole construction is going to go. Now, the fact is, to Jose's point, they 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 offered him a house. They offered him, you know, I, I know, you know, what they did. And I know there was a big compensation package offered to the gentleman and everything. I mean, it was a it was a substantial amount of money, home and everything. Now, they didn't want to do it. He didn't want to do it. He didn't want to move. And, and and he keeps on saying that it's because his parents came here from Cuba and this is the first place they, they bought. Listen, we all have a story. Because if you if, if I go through my story, I can tell you the first home that my parents came, you know, when they came from Cuba in fifty something. And and, and, and you and, flipped it. And everything that happened, I wasn't born in Cuba, I was born here. But at the same time, you know, when my parents came from Cuba, they lived in the roads, imagine. And then after that, they moved to the southwest area. And they moved out of the roads because the area of the roads that they moved out so happens that development was coming in. Yeah. And they had the opportunity. My dad said, wow, I would have never known that where I bought, it was going to be so hot. Yeah. So when my dad sold that area, it's because they offered him money. He took it. Yeah. And because of that, he was able to buy where, where my parents live now in days. Yeah. So, so, so you think that's what Gray bought at the Redlands? Probably. Well, it's <laughs> no, going, it's it's getting, but it's getting up, by the way. It but is, again, it, it's, it's opportunities that way, you yeah. see now. You have, to, you have to view it how everybody else views it. In, they, he views it as a way as I, this is what my parents see. wanted and they don't want to never leave. In my parents' view... They viewed it. They never knew it was going to be a huge investment when they when when, when they, they came yeah. knocking, and my dad said, "Wow, you know, it's like you know, you live in this area that you know there was oil on the bottom, and all of a sudden Texaco comes and goes. By the way, hey, you're you're under oil. I mean, you know, you hit that's the jackpot. Why you buy real estate? Correct. See, but at the end, it was, the it was his right. decision in the pharmacy, and we respected it. Correct. Been yeah. trying to be the, the, the accommodate as a neighbor, but I mean, it's, it's complicated because yeah. he's in yeah. the middle of. Two point four to eight. No, and right. now I've heard so, that he's getting uh, violations. Now he's not really like maintaining the property. Yes, because I mean we were getting violations, which we attended. He's getting his own. It's, it's not us. They think it's us, but that's the city. The city. Right. He's not cutting the grass. The city of Coral Gables. They have to enforce. No, no, any that's single the city. home. Not yeah. because it's in the plaza or whatever. It's the Coral Gables. So that's those things that has to do with the city. They think it's us, but we don't have anything to do. So no. a lot. So last time we talked about this story. On on a day in Miami, a lot of people were commenting that 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 land right now has zero value for him, which I Just, think the opposite. No. I think it has a lot of value, but only if we were to buy it. But if someone else were to purchase that, they cannot pop up a retail. They spot cannot there? do anything because they don't have parking. 
Correct. And he told us back then. So I stand Mr. corrected. Orlando, I said, no, anybody no, 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 wants to snatch no, that up? No, no, no. no back no. then, the last conversation was some many years so ago. So tomorrow, he wants to put a for sale no. sign on it and not sell it to them. Nobody, who wants to buy no, it? No, but back, back then, he told us. All they're going to do is just buy it to get press and be in there and no, say, in, oh, we're also going to be <laughs> here and not getting so, out. So but many, I can build a restaurant there and just. I'm mean, unless you have to deal with us with parking or with someone else outside because. Yeah. And we, and we, I mean, the last conversation, that was so many years ago that we had these conversations with him, you know, because he told us no. And. I know that you have been sending us like 20 or 25 brokers and we never send a single broker. We only have someone that was helping us as a friendly way, not even with brokers. Correct. But of course, there's a lot of opportunistic people that say, let me buy the house and I'm going to try to flip it to a yeah, guy. Yeah. So the, the value of the land, the thing is, I mean, it, it used to be better before we built. Now that we built for us, for yeah. Agave Zero. If we end up at some point getting the house, it's going to be a park. We actually park, yeah. even, even offer him that we can, if we create a park, Whenever name he decides to sell, name yeah. it after his father, the family, gladly, because we're not going to build anything there. It doesn't make sense. We have enough parking. We have enough retail. So we'll do that it. That could be a spectacular like, little park. A yeah. park, yeah. You know, name where people the, can take the dogs. after the family. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, love yeah. them. He's a, yeah. he's a cat lover, a dog lover. But anyway, so I was going with that is that whoever gets that house, they don't they no, no, not even do uh, They can do single family, yes, but you cannot even do high end of uh, deal, high end density mm -hmm. residential, not too close, because they have zero parking. Mm -hmm. So the value is, hey, you have a value. Yeah, it's complicated. Course. But it's not as, as, as substantial as people would think. No, no, no. Yeah. yeah that makes so sense. you can ask him to keep making offers, but <laughs> it will not work. Yeah. And that's not what we want. We want to respect him. He's our neighbor. Absolutely. And try to disturb him as, le as, as less as we can. But the reality that he's in, bet in between 2.4 million square feet of retail office. Yeah. No, no. I mean, space. No? That's what it is. No? Listen, it, it's, it, it'll be like um, the movie Up. So uh, that's exactly what it is. Yeah. You know, bring a lot of balloons. Maybe which, one day we see him well, going up with the, the back balloons. Back then, just to end up the story. Yeah. Back back then, we even had the before we built anything because it was empty. Yeah. Land, as you guys know, when you were here before, your office was here. We even had the idea, which was crazy, to move the house. To move the house to that to, uh, to that which I mean to the corner from the screen house. To the corner where you have the man, but I've seen the, I've seen the new house they built. <laughs> I take that in a heartbeat. Yeah. I mean, in, in, in the time we will it, and well, we can sell it now. I think we're thinking of selling it, but it's yeah. spicy, no? But yeah. you do your office there. It's a bigger space. Oh well. Anyway, and where, who's gonna and move it? Too much time the... on this. Too much time on this. <laughs> no, that's fine. <laughs> I mean, I next it's, just, it's a very, 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 very interesting uh, scenario there. Um, I think you know. That's well. All. I thought you have more no, questions. No, I have, so I mean, why? I, I guess you kind of talked about this. I have a couple more here. Why Miami? Why did you guys pick Miami out of everything you guys could have done? Every location. I know you have stuff in Chicago. Yeah, that's a good question. You know, See, yeah, a little bit of his homework. Well, yeah. He was just lucky. Yeah. No, I guess someone of, of, of the day in Miami asked you that yeah, question. That was not you. Yeah. Yeah. I couldn't come from Miami. Out of, out of 20 questions, respect. one hit. Yeah. It's okay. okay. No, no, We're good. the guru at marketing <laughs> and <laughs> social media, but there is it. No, but that's a great question. When we started, uh, when Mr. Beckman, I have been working for the family for the last 25 years. I had a lot of hair back then. So I, started, <laughs> so I started as a paralegal. I'm, I'm an attorney. I used to be an attorney in Mexico, and, and one of the clients was Cuervo. And I started working on the spirits division, and then I, I turned in and started doing on the real estate for Mr. Beckman, building, I mean, buying land, developing office buildings. So he was concerned back in those days. That was nine, 2007, eight. He was kind of concerned that all his assets were, were um, only in Mexico. I mean, as yeah. you know, the tequila, right. the uh, origin denomination can only be grown in certain areas. Yes, big lands there. The tequila, Diversification. The digimals. Exactly. So what he decided, even before the crisis, he was smart enough to do it before the big meltdown. COVID. COVID no, since 2009. 2009 oh, even before that. Even the downfall. That he said, the, yeah, so he sure. sold most of the real estate in Mexico, like close to 2 million square feet of offices. He just kept his office, uh, Jose Cuervo Tire, which is beautiful. And then he has this pile of cases. He says, Jose Antonio, we need to do something. Um, but all of the people in, in uh, on the family office. I want to diversify. No, I'm not. I'm not safe having all my assets here. It has to be about politics, but also with the current government that we had. That he was concerned back then. He had that vision yeah. of what is going on now with the Correct. current president. Yeah, yeah. So the, 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 so that's that's where we were asked. That's I was still at the law firm to search for opportunities to risk in the U.S. And through some contacts, what we what we end up um, deciding it whether it would make sense to do it in Miami because. Again, we were the new kids in town, but it's, it's easier in Miami. Not only because of the language, but the cultural thing, you know? Yeah. yeah. We explored Texas. We didn't like Texas. I, mean, I was going to move to Texas. That's too yeah. boring, no? With all respect, I love to go to Texas, not to live there. I don't know. California. There's a lot of people. I love Austin. <laughs> California was another target market, but it was back then it was 
too complicated, too expensive. Be glad. Look be, at California look now. Look what's going on now. Look what's going on now. We were about to buy a building. Be, be glad. Right before Mass COVID. Exodus. Everybody left yeah. from California yeah. to Florida and yeah. Texas. Yeah. So anyway, the story was just to have some cultural similarities, the language, the the Latin culture at the yeah. end. I mean, even with the city of Cora Gables, that is a very American conservative city. I mean, it's our mayor is Latin. Everybody's Latin. So, yeah. so that was, I think, was the right decision. And from there, we started expanding to Chicago. Actually, the same 2009, right when I moved, we, Mr. Bevan bought at the same time two buildings, the one in Coconut Grove, now the yeah, beautiful. 2601 Salvation yep. Drive, and yep. one in Chicago that we were not b- going to buy, but it was like this opportunity. And that's where we started growing in Chicago. Two years ago, we bought another building in Chicago. We were about to close on another one last year, with, which we didn't, but it's going well. We're looking, we have something in, in as you know, the, the Mayo Clinic in, in Talk, Rochester. Talking about the culture and everything you love about Miami, what would you say is the best Mexican restaurant in Miami Ooh. right now? Be careful. Choose your, on the spot choose, here. choose your words wisely, my friend. Unless this, they're going to poison I, no, you. No, no, no. Yeah. And, and I, I have a lot of Mexican friends that have I Mexican bet you do. restaurants. Huh? One that is coming, they haven't opened yet, so I, I can speak good about them, but I haven't been to the restaurant. No, but there's this, this different kinds, as you know, the Mexican food, like any other food, like the Cuban yep. or the French one. You can have the highest end meal and a, and a high end three star Michelin star like Pujol in Mexico or, or fast like food you can type. have the fast food in the yeah. street sticking and eating street tacos food, yeah. so going first to the most important one is the street tacos that is a place in, in, in downtown that is called El Porqui Tacos they only sell Al Pastor tacos it's the best place I've eaten tacos I've, in the I've US heard. amazing by the way that's, that's the fast I'm place trying I mean, to, I'm, I'm trying, trying to, to re-imitate those for you guys of course you have to give me some credit no but amazing <laughs> I, I have been there six seven times five of them are just alone in the morning, wow! Because I just go there and eat tacos. On the other side, they, they have been lately. They have been opening more Mexican restaurants. We're going to go to one now yeah. that we haven't been. But I'm a very big fan of Lalo Durazo. Lalo Durazo from Mexico. He's the one that owns Coco. Where and, is that? Uh, Coco Bacan, right uh, he here, Miami. With, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. He started with Talavera. Actually, oh, okay. No, wait, wait, wait. Actually, actually, he started with um, Jaguar. Jaguar. Yeah, 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 yeah right. Yeah. And he has home. Talavera here. Right. Talavera here is yeah. good. Talavera, which he just renewed, and is at the foot yeah. is amazing. And then it's he crazy. Opened... I've never been there. What? And it's right here in the corner. Talavera, yeah. Lalo, you see? You have to see. Yeah. Uh, that that to against walk, that's another walking distance <laughs> yeah. situation. We'll bring, we'll bring Lalo to the yeah. podcast. Yeah. No, this guy is amazing. He was always in the hospitality business, even yeah. in Mexico with um, with a group. But anyway, he opened then the Bacan in Wynwood. Okay. Then he opened a Bacan in Madrid, which is insane. But you see, I've been to Bacan in Madrid. I amazing. haven't been to Bacan no, here in, no, no, no. in Wynwood. It's the good. One, the that one, sucks. The but one, is it good over there? I liked it. Yeah. yeah. The one in Madrid is amazing. I mean, I mean the so you're having Mexican did. food in Spain, but... And the latest one he did, that's in Coconut Grove, I mean, next to the, uh, the related building, is called Coco. You haven't been? We have to go. It's I think I've been there. The yeah. place I is I amazing. I think I did go there. The food is amazing, and the price is amazing. There's another one there called Aida, too. Aida is a Mexican restaurant, Mexican also by a friend of mine, Eduardo. Well, we're going that, to another that, one today, That's a by Mexican, the way. but it's, it's, it's great Mexican, but it's more like, towards, it's like, like a Mexican seafood, which is amazing. Yeah. So that's a great yeah. restaurant. Well, we're, we're going to Aida and Agave today. Well, if I, if and, I tell and, you something. And also, just to feel it, sorry. Yeah, go ahead. If you want to have really Mexican food, you have to go to Homestead. That's what I was going to tell you. If you go I was to just Homestead, right now. you feel like you're in Mexico. Nobody understands the fact of old Homestead. And I tell you right now, I, in my campaigning years, the when I used to have to campaign throughout the whole county, we would go to Mexico. I mean, to the area part. Sorry, we would go to Homestead, which is like a little part of Mexico. Yeah, and the is. sense is, it, it, it's like, a, it, I wanted to say, it's, it's like little Mexico. Yeah. Really, it's you know, it's like little many... Italy and New York, whatever. It, the cobblestone you know, roads and everything. And I tell you to this moment, it's the only Publix that I've ever been to that has about six aisles, six aisles dedicated to all Mexican food. You have every mom and pop yeah. sauce, no, uh, tortillas. The, yeah, yeah, I'm no, telling wait, you, and there's, spe- there's, a, there's awesome. a store that is called Mexican Market that is, in, I mean, right across the city hall. Of yeah. It's a Mexican market. They even have this machine to do the tortillas from scratch. You can find anything you want from Mexico. Wow. You find it there. That's, that's, that's what I'm telling you. So you go and eat stuff. Do these local taco places, which all of them are amazing. That's a and then Sunday you, place. Wait, it's a see, Sunday go shopping. I, mean, we, we I go do it with, with, with my family, mainly yeah. with my daughter. We go, we eat, and then we go to the Michoacana, which is this popsicle place that is from Mexico. Okay. And then we buy stuff. We spend the day, uh, what are the morning, and it's so amazing. I, I just came. Amazing thought, yeah. producer. Let's go to Homestead. We we do a content shoot. If of we do one a at the Michoacana, following Jose Antonio. Yeah. 
in Homestead. In can, Homestead. I get, can I get some credit, some money out of this? Because yeah. I have no, no, no money. <laughs> All you're gonna no, get is here. I would love to do it. I, I would love to do it. But this is water. You fill it with real tequila. No, I would love to do it. And just to end up with that conversation, you guys know I was a good friend of ours, Jonathan Chai, that he was. Oh, I yes. love Jonathan. The foreign in, in the. Former, I'm sorry, Mexican consul that he was just moved to Mexico to a bigger task and he just became and got the title of an ambassador. Right. We don't know so him more no, yet. No yet because he's in the campaign, and but he got the title. He's he's an amazing guy. We he's an ambassador him. now. And he the was ambassador of the U.S. That would be great. That's what Mexico we're will be honored to have to have him. I mean, yeah. Yeah. he's yeah. one of the greatest guys I've ever met. And Super. he was going every single weekend either to Homestead or all the Mexican communities. And I toured with him so many times and to eat in the places to see the people needs and uh, and again that's that's where you feel. I mean, I'm Mexican and yeah. I, I, I live here, but I, I miss my the culture. Yeah, I mean, the of food course. and you go there and you can have it. It's amazing. So, but can I tell you, that's the beauty of living in Miami. Yeah, yeah you can. The have beautiful everything. thing of living in Miami is is that we can cater to. Every everything. culture, everything. and you have every culture, you- Latin, everything, and now you. You just said, you just said it right now. Region. You, 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 Tahan Llorando, you know, you, you, you eat, you know, you want that Mexican food, and you know that at least going over there, you feel like you're in Mexico, yeah, yeah. and that happens yeah. with yeah. everybody yeah. here: yeah. Cubans, yeah. Mexican, Hondureño, Nicaraguenses, Salvadoreño, everything. Yeah. You have everything here. Yeah. Everything yeah. Everything here. Yeah. That's the beautiful Miami. Here too, you know? Yeah. So this is why I call it Miami USA. Two. I always say Miami USA. The closest border point to the US. This is it. It's like this Puerto Rico. It. Yeah. This is it. We're all country. Two last questions, right? Oh, Number for one, the, so we oh, these, how many more questions? Be yeah, it's gonna be short. Ten minutes, man. What God. does STL mean to you? STL. What does it mean? <laughs> Squeeze the lime. Of the, course, the I know. Squeeze, squeeze the, the lemon. lemon. I, I, the lemon. Okay, it's in Mexico. Lime is lemon. You know, what that's, a lime, the, lemon, that's the big with the yellow and the green one. Yeah. No, I, I learned that, that from uh, this beautiful gentleman here. But I think it's. <laughs> I never thought about that uh, in those terms, but it's completely accurate. Squeeze the lime is just go after any single opportunity, after any single task. No, it's like the other way of speaking about that. Though, and, Speaking about the organizations and the task, I mean, we're at the plaza now. I mean, Agave is really small. We have a few employees. We're saying, but we and, and the, at the plaza, just at the plaza, we have in between the hotel and everything, we have close to 500 employees. No? It's crazy. So we're transmitting that culture now. And even now, the Lowe's Hospitality Group is going to help us with, with training the whole staff, starting for park, ballet attendants, or the parking, janitorial security, even to Agave. That's wonderful. That's and, wonderful. and the management office, yeah. of JLS, everything. To teach them on hospitality because that's that's super important for us. No, yeah. the treatment to the people is the number one thing. But, but and that's mm-hmm. going back to your question. I'm sorry, I just diverted, but it goes off to that. I mean, we we're based with the philosophy based on relationships. But that's everything STL. Is, yeah, STL that's STL. Is, Squeeze everything. It doesn't matter if you are the, the valet parking attendant. The Correct. General. That's what I say. Yeah. Everybody brings the same value. Everybody brings the same value. And organization. you're going to learn something from that person. Yeah. Then people think, why? You know, why stop here? Go down all yeah. the way. And down all the to little stuff. All those. I mean, yes. even the, the, the little tasks are the most important. Some, some. I mean, depending on where you are sitting and where you are working, nobody wants to take the small tasks. You know? It's always nope. that they want to be. They want to take the big deals, but it's. The flashy what we look for and what I did in my personal career is like just whatever you give me, do the best. Just find someone that is going to take it and he's going to take it and own it and he's going to do it. He's going to achieve it. Even if the stupid smallest thing, because there's a lot of people that they, I mean, there's much more smarter people than me, than everybody that they can identify a problem. Just a couple. Just a just couple. couple. My, my job, when I was young, my first job was working at Dandy Bear, which is like an amusement park. I, I know it very well. I, you, I probably they, saw you when yeah, I took the kids. They would send me to clean the bathrooms, uh-huh. and I would make sure that I cleaned the best fucking Brother, bathrooms, I would bro. be the best fr- bathroom <laughs> yes. cleaner, I, I, I tell you. Can you go uh, to my house? Again? Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm the, the last one. one. No, but that's no, we're just, go? No, that's yeah, one. No, just to end up with that is really important. That's the thing. It's just, take, I mean... Take the shot. Whatever they yeah, give yeah. you is the smallest and, size. And, and, and take See, advantage and try and resolve this, this the best of, of every again, opportunity. And that is why that, we that, empower that's, the that's, STL that's symbol, my brother. That's the alignment for all your beautiful Everything. crowd that you have in, in all your, your, your platforms. Yeah. Is that even probably in the younger generation, I'm going to sound old here, but it's like, of course, when you're young, you're eager, you want to take the big task. Give me the, the biggest challenges. No, just take... Whatever nobody wants to take, take that. Take it. Well. Take it and do, do well it. on it. Absolutely. Conclude it, execute. And the, and the high guys, I mean, the main guys on the organization, they're going to notice. Gonna notice. Yeah, We're going to know it. And by the way, just that's you're going to hear it here now, too. We're going to have an STL conference. Yeah. And we're going to have an STL conference 
at the plaza. Yeah. And last we're going to have this guy as a guest speaker. Last question I is, mean, what are the future those... plans for Agave? Anything? Uh, yes, going that's on? a great question. And you guys have been involved in part of those conversations. Now the, the new generations of... Uh, the it's not the family. best question. It's a good question. Okay. Uh, did, did I say the best? Yes. Sorry, don't give me more tequila. <laughs> I think it was water, right? <laughs> So, no, that, that's an interesting I mean, the, the, the real estate portfolio that Agave has is pretty well stabilized things going much more in these times. Yeah. I mean, in the office market, which is challenging, but I mean, we gladly, we're 100% this year. SBS, I mean, that's 2601 Bay Street. We're killing it. We're getting even higher rents out of the plaza. Night Prince is Alhambra is full. The in Chicago, the struggle a little bit. We are also getting there. So the, the portfolio is really well stabilized. And now we have to take advantage. We want to take advantage of what, what we have created, we have already a good reputation in Miami, you know, and even in the U.S. overall, no, a good track record. So we want to explore that with the younger generations of the ownership on the Beckman family that they're sure that they're young and they have more interest in diversifying or bringing even even private equity investment on the real estate side and other diversified to other investments. So yeah. that's what real estate for now. I mean, it's tempting, but but it's always picking up. So hard. We always yeah. say we always say that. But that's the way. Sorry to conclude. That's the way we bought the land uh, here at the plaza. Because everybody was because asking of, you, of a battle. No, no, no. Yeah. You know, but everybody was saying, I mean, we, we just knew here. We don't want to explore the savings. So we always say, we're, we're not buying. We're always looking. Yeah. And, the, and that's the way we end up buying the plaza. Always, and that's the way yeah. we end up 225 Washington in Chicago that we stole that building. So it's real estate, but a mix also into other ventures, not to diversify the portfolio. Excellent. Well, to, to, to conclude, but, which, by the way, we could be here hours, hours. a couple of hours. Look at this. We haven't you. even opened this one. <laughs> yeah. So at the end of the day, what we want to do is we want to invite all you guys come out to the plaza. Check out the plaza. Check out the restaurants right there now. Look at what's coming and stay tuned for much and more. And May 5th, remember the activation for the Formula for One the viewing F1. rights. That's and gonna we're going to come back. Party. Heineken, we're... And we're mariachis, gonna come back. tequila. It's going to be go. a, great, a yeah. great, great party. You pay one price and you drink all day long. By the way, we're going to come <laughs> back because I want, I want to do a show. On the tequilas. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, we didn't speak about we the tequilas. I know, but because it's too much. Yeah, but we're going to do another show and just talk so, about the tequilas. But I'm going to be that important. lucky enough so you invite me again. What do, well, I, you have to sign another big guy. Do when I you sign to, Amazon, I mean, you come back. Well, last, last year, I was at the Washington Post and nobody invited me. So <laughs> nobody. I don't want to have to buy the ad. Hey, Miami fans, we love you. Thank, thank you, you so Jose. much, guys. Guys, thank you. You're amazing. Thank you, sir. Thank, thank you. you, sir. Ben, thank cheers. you. He's the man. Here's the, the best drink. <laughs> One last cheers. No <laughs> calories, no sugar. This is it. We're good. And thank you can you continue working. Cheers. Thank you, Ben.